From zero to being a billionaire, welcome to Be a Baby Billionaire, an educational and informational source for baby billionaires. 15 Guiding Pointers to Help Plan Your Journey Have you ever wondered how a person goes from having nothing to becoming a billionaire? It's a remarkable journey and one that often involves hard work, passion, persistence, perseverance, and a bit of luck. In this video, we'll explore what we have learned from people who have reached that milestone and get an inside look at how they made the transition from zero to becoming billionaires. Whether you're looking for tips on how to succeed in business or want to reach this impossibly possible milestone, this video is sure to inspire you to hopefully become one. The math is very simple. Sell a product or service for just $1 to a billion people. That's a thousand million. Have you ever wondered what it takes to become a billionaire? It may seem like an impossible goal, but it is possible if followed through from zero to the end, and many have done it before us. So why can't we? In this video, we'll be exploring the different steps and strategies needed to turn zero into a billion. Starting with your mindset. The first step is wanting to be one. From setting the right goals, managing your time wisely, living frugally, making smart investments, increasing your income, and leveraging your network, just to name a few. We will be covering everything you need to know to make your dreams of hopefully becoming a billionaire a reality. In life, everything starts from zero. Hence, it is never too late, and no need to be embarrassed to start from zero at any point in life. It is not a race. We need to compete with just us and not with anyone else. Not only do we need to be much better than we were yesterday, but also better than everyone else in our mind. Solving the world's problems is the surest way to becoming a billionaire. The more problems you solve, the faster you can get there. The faster you get there, the more people you can help. We need to ask ourselves these questions before doubts set in. Can I start from zero? When and where do I start? And is it possible to achieve this milestone? The answer lies within each of us and is based on our mindset. To join the ranks of the 2,500 plus people worldwide who have made it to that club, we will need to analyze the game of numbers and be very good at playing it. Let's begin our journey. Before starting any journey, we will need to have a destination in mind, a plan on how to get there, the amount of time it takes, planning on how to tackle storms along the way, and paths we need to take. Also, we must take into account what we need to do when we get there. It's not what you make that counts, but what you have in hand. Once we have it, we need to learn how to manage it, hold on to it, and sustain it for the long haul. Here are 15 guiding pointers to help plan your journey. Guiding pointer one, understanding your current financial situation. Understanding your current financial situation is a crucial first step on the path to becoming a billionaire. It is important to have a clear understanding of where you stand financially before you can make any meaningful progress towards your goals. So how can you gain this understanding? Start by assessing your assets and liabilities. Chart them down to provide you with a visual to use each day. Take stock of your current income, savings, investments, and other sources of wealth. Calculate your debts, loans, and monthly expenses. This will give you a snapshot of your financial health and help you determine your net worth. This is your financial pulse. Know where you stand before doing anything. Without this, you will have no baseline nor a reference point to work with or see your progress. Once you have your baseline set, take steps to reach your goal. Next, analyze your cash flow. Track your income and expenses over a period of time for each month for each year. Write it down on a piece of paper or use tracking software. This will give you insights into your spending habits, help identify areas where you can cut costs, and help you allocate your resources more efficiently. Consider your financial goals. Ask yourself, what do you want to achieve? Do you want to save for your kid's education or your retirement? Start your own business or invest in real estate? Understanding your long-term objectives will help you use a financial strategy that works and helps make smarter decisions with your money. Work your way up by taking small workloads at a time. This will make it much easier and digestible for you to work on. 
Strategic planning and timely execution can help reach your destination. Visualization, the path and the action taken will collectively help you get to the gateway. First of all, you will need to be creative in visualizing yourself in the future to take you there. This will help provide you with the blueprint and the bullet points. Finally, don't forget to consider your risk tolerance. Are you comfortable in taking on higher risk investments or do you prefer a more conservative approach? Understanding your risk tolerance will help you tailor your investment portfolio and make choices that align with your comfort level. By understanding your current financial situation, you can also identify areas for improvement and set yourself on a path towards financial success. Baby Billionaire Tips 1 1. Write your goals down on paper. Write down everything. 2. This helps you set your goals in stone, visualize them, and use them as a guide to review your progress as you check each box. 3. It's never too late to get started, but get started now. 4. Be transparent with yourself and account for everything. 5. Each decision you make today will take you one step closer to your goal or many steps away from it. Guiding pointer two, setting achievable financial goals. Setting achievable financial goals is a crucial step on the path to becoming a billionaire. Without clear and attainable goals, it's easy to get lost in the vast world of finances and lose sight of what you truly want to achieve. By setting goals, you'll be creating a roadmap that will guide your financial decisions and keep you focused on what truly matters. When setting your financial goals, it's important to make them specific and measurable. Instead of simply saying, I want to be a billionaire, break it down into smaller, achievable milestones. For example, you could set a goal to save a certain amount of money each month or increase your income by a specific percentage each year. If you are planning to be a winner, you must become a great planner first. Each step taken initially will be in baby steps at a slower pace and should be in the forward direction. This helps you keep learning and taking action while working towards your goal. It is also important to set a timeline for your goals. Without a deadline, there's no sense of urgency or accountability. Set short-term goals that can be achieved within a few months or a year, as well as long-term goals that may take several years to accomplish. Another crucial aspect of setting achievable financial goals is to keep them realistic. It is very important to take into account your current financial situation and your cash resources. Setting unrealistic goals can lead to frustration and disappointment. Instead, set goals that challenge you but are still within reach. All goals, both short and long-term, must be tied to a deadline. A deadline will force us to plan and make things happen by that set date and time. It also provides us the thrust and the drive that is required to propel us forward when we feel down. Lastly, make sure your financial goals align with your values and priorities. Ask yourself, why do you want to become a billionaire? Maybe it is to provide for your family, to make a positive impact in the world, or to have a life free from financial worries or simply for personal fulfillment. By understanding your motivations, you can set goals that truly resonate with you, thereby increasing your chances of success. Setting achievable financial goals is not just about the destination, but also about the journey. As you work towards your goals, celebrate smaller achievements along the way and reassess your goals as circumstances change. You will be meeting new people, learning new things, and experiencing life's ups and downs. This will help you stay humble, respect others, and be a lifelong learner. With clear, measurable, and realistic goals, you'll be well on your way to hopefully joining the ranks of the world's billionaires. Baby Billionaire Tips 2 1. If we fail to plan, we fail even faster. 2. Each goal we set should have a deadline and a timeline for action. This will help chart our course while having a plan of action in hand. 3. The most difficult part of any journey is to set your mind to get started and take that first step. The rest will follow. 4. Set goals that are realistic and achievable. 5. The decisions you made back then have put you in the place where you are right now. Watch your steps by treading carefully and moving forward to be where you want to be 10 years from now.
Guiding pointer three, creating a budget and sticking to it. Creating a budget and sticking to it is a crucial step on the path to becoming a billionaire. While it may seem tedious or restrictive, a budget is actually a powerful tool that can help you manage your finances effectively and make the most out of your money. To create a budget, start by tracking your income and expenses. Take note of how much money is coming in each month from your salary, investments, or any other sources. Then, carefully review your expenses, including bills, rent, or mortgage payments, groceries, entertainment, and any other regular expenses. Be sure to also account for variable expenses, such as dining out or shopping. Never go out shopping on an empty stomach and with your wallet full. This encourages unhealthy habits and succumbing to peer pressure when shopping as a group. Shop till you drop may be good for your friends, which might give you a hint or suggestion that you may be in the wrong crowd. Once you have a clear understanding of your income and expenses, it's time to make some decisions. Look for areas where you can cut costs or find ways to save money. This might mean opting for a cheaper phone plan, cooking at home more often, or canceling unnecessary subscriptions. Every dollar you save can be allocated towards your financial goals. It's important to set realistic spending limits for each category in your budget. Be mindful of your priorities and focus on spending money on things that truly matter to you. By sticking to your budget, you'll develop healthy spending habits and avoid unnecessary debt. Prepare your shopping list at home and say no to impulse buys. Advertisements are created to entice you to part with your hard-earned money. Your decision will need to be to choose between your actual needs and your wants if you want to save your wallet. Of course, creating a budget is an important first step. The key is to stick to it consistently. This means restricting the temptation to overspend and making mindful choices with your money. Keep track of your expenses regularly. Adjust your budget as needed, and stay disciplined. It may be challenging at first, but the rewards will be well worth it. Understand your needs versus the wants or must-haves. By creating a budget and sticking to it, you'll gain control over your finances and make significant progress towards your financial goals. It's a fundamental skill that all billionaires possess, and one that you can develop too. So start today and take charge of your financial future to hopefully become a billionaire. Baby Billionaire Tips 3 1. Creating a budget and carrying a shopping list with you can help you avoid making impulse buys and having any unplanned expenses. 2. Sticking with your shopping list helps your wallet stick to you. 3. Use cash instead of using a credit card. You may have a hard time letting cash go, and you will notice that it hurts a lot. 4. Go shopping on a full stomach and with a clear mind. 5. Understand the difference between your needs and wants before you shop anywhere. Guiding pointer 4. Identifying opportunities and niche markets. Identifying opportunities and niche markets is a key factor in the journey from zero to becoming a billionaire. It's not just about luck or being in the right place at the right time. It's about actively seeking out opportunities and being able to spot potential where others might not. It's also healthy to stand alone and make things happen by calling our own shots. To identify opportunities, it's important to stay curious and open-minded. Keep an eye out for trends, emerging industries, and changes in consumer behavior. Look for gaps in the market where there is great demand but little competition. This could be a new technology that is set to disrupt an industry or a niche market that is underserved. Look for a gap in the market and fill it with your strengths. An untapped gap will need to be filled by someone. Why not you? If you do not take the time and effort to fill it in, somebody else will. One way to identify opportunities is through market research. Conduct surveys, interviews, and focus groups to gather insights from potential customers. This will help you understand their needs, pain points, and preferences, which can guide you in developing a product or service that meets those needs. Networking is also a powerful tool for identifying opportunities. Attend industry events, join professional organizations, and connect with like-minded individuals. Engage in conversations, listen to others' experiences, and stay informed about the latest developments in your field. 
You never know when a casual conversation or a new connection could lead to a potential business opportunity. By not following the crowd, you create your own dreams. You will also have less to no competition, and you will have the luxury to set your own prices by monetizing your product or service. Pain points are a problem that are waiting to be solved by you. So, what are you waiting for? Additionally, staying ahead of the curve and embracing innovation is crucial. Keep up with technological advancements, follow industry thought leaders, and be willing to adapt and evolve your business model as needed. Being flexible and agile will help you seize opportunities as they arise and stay competitive in a rapidly changing world. Identifying niche markets is another important aspect of you hopefully becoming a billionaire. Instead of you trying to cater to everyone, focus on a specific segment of the market that has unique needs or preferences. This could be a demographic group, a particular geographic area, or a specialized industry. By targeting a niche market, you can establish yourself as an expert and build a loyal customer base. By not following the crowd and selecting your niche, you will have no competition and a chance to monopolize the market by commanding your own prices. This will give you a unique advantage over other businesses, which tend to follow others with a herd mentality. Baby Billionaire Tips 4 1. Always keep your eyes and ears open for opportunities and stay focused on your path. 2. Do not follow the crowd and be part of the crowd. Create your own pathway to success, then help others follow in your footsteps by showing them the way and lifting them up. 3. Opportunities do not present themselves on a platter for you to pick. You will need to go and get it. 4. If you cannot find your desired path in life, create one for yourself. 5. If you can dream it and visualize it, you will always find ways to accomplish it. Guiding Pointer 5. Taking Calculated Risks and Your Mindset Taking calculated risks is a crucial element in the journey from zero to becoming a billionaire. While risk-taking can be daunting, it's often the key differentiator between those who achieve mass success and those who settle for mediocrity. However, it's important to note that successful entrepreneurs don't take risks blindly. They assess the potential rewards and weigh them against the potential downsides. To take calculated risks, you need to cultivate a mindset of calculated optimism. This means being willing to step out of your comfort zone, but doing so with careful planning and analysis. Before making any major decisions, conduct thorough market research and gather all the relevant information. This will enable you to make informed choices and mitigate potential risks. Nothing in life is risk-free. You will need to trust your instincts and do your thing. A 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. job will be cushy, comfortable, and risk-free in the short run. Until we are let go, we have a plan B and a plan C for everything in life. We must learn to be independent and make things happen our way. It's important to evaluate the worst case scenario before taking a risk. Ask yourself what is the potential downside if things don't go as planned? Can you recover from it? Having a clear understanding of the potential risks and having a backup plan in place can help you navigate uncertainty more effectively. Taking calculated risks also involves seeking advice and learning from experts in your industry. Connect with mentors, join entrepreneurial networks, and surround yourself with like-minded individuals who have successfully taken risks in the past and have traveled the same path before us. Their insights and experiences can provide valuable guidance and help you make more informed decisions. Plan your moves before you make the actual move. Before you dive into anything, do your due diligence and research. With calculated and well thought out strategies, risk can be mitigated or spread out. Many people before us have been there and done that. Instead of reinventing the wheel, let's learn something from their journey. Not every risk you take will result in success, but that's okay. Embrace failure as an opportunity for growth and learning. You will need to throw the towel in to mark your spot and take a chance. There are no guarantees in life. Sometimes we may have to jump off a cliff, figuratively speaking. Then plan and make a parachute on the way down to prevent a disaster, meaning that we will be learning on the fly or as a situation arises and based on what life throws at us. This is life. Risk is a part of life. 
Until we try, we may never know whether it will be successful or not. There is a risk in everything that we do, so why not dive in and try our shot at success? If we need to learn to swim, we will need to get into the pool first and not be a spectator on the sidelines. It all starts with our mindset, a winning one. This may hopefully put us in the ranks of billionaires someday. Baby Billionaire Tips 5 1. Never settle for less or for mediocrity. Shoot for the stars and you may end up on the clouds. At least you will not be on the ground looking up in awe. 2. Plan to get there sooner than later because it surely is a beautiful view from the top. 3. Never be a spectator but a participant. Unless we try, we may never know if we will be a winner, nor will we know our true inner potential. 4. Get out of your comfort zone to make things happen. We call it the dead zone because that's where no growth occurs. 5. Do whatever it takes to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. As long as it is moral, ethical, right, and legal, and it does not hurt anyone in the process. Guiding Pointer 6 overcoming fear of failure and what we can learn from them. Failure and mistakes are a part of life. We fail, we fall, and we get up. This is how it was right from the get-go. We learn to sit up first, then crawl, and then walk, and in that sequence. But we did fail at each and every one of those steps and have subsequently overcome it. Walking has now become an involuntary action. During each of those steps, we had fear in us but we still persisted because our survival depended on it and our instincts went into overdrive, nullifying our fears. Going from zero to billionaire does take us on a similar path. We will have to go through those trials, tribulations, and challenges of success and failure. This helps mold our character, shape our existence, and make us stronger to withstand anything that life throws at us. We are all innately born with the fear of failure this fear helps us succeed by overcoming obstacles that come our way. All good things always materialize at the lowest point in our lives. Because we will need to fight our way to the surface to take that breath. No one has our interest in mind other than us. We are the captains of our lives, and if we wish to remain that way, we will need to live our lives on our own terms. If we do not plan our life, no one else will plan it for us. To be successful, we will need to face failure head on. We know that fire is hot and it can burn us. How do we know that? From our own first-hand experience, and also from what our parents have taught us. It also has a good side. We cook our food with it, provides us with heat during the winter, and it powers many power plants that ensure our comfort. Just like fire, failure also serves as a double-edged sword. Failure and experience are great teachers. They tell us what to do the next time around, and they teach us many things that we would not normally know by reading a book or surfing the web. That is an experience that is authentic and pure at its core. Mistakes are inevitable in everything we do. Our mistakes will teach us a lot, and we can learn from others' mistakes as well. For this reason, we must be open-minded and be willing to learn. When failure is not an option and success is the only way out, that is when we will give it our best shot. When we are placed in a corner, we will fight back to claim what is ours. Our lives have become so comfortable that we have lost the instinct to fight to achieve anything in life. Fact: All we need to do is just to get one endeavor right, and then we will be set for life. Most of us have lots of ideas that pop into our minds from time to time. Due to the fear of failing, we seldom have the courage to start. This leads to procrastination, and eventually, the idea never gets to see the light of day. To overcome it, we will need to gather the courage and dive in. By making our own mistakes, we will learn to pivot and ultimately succeed. Everything that we see around us is someone else's idea. So why not it be our idea that can help transform itself to land on the shelves of supermarkets or on the web? If we do not try anything, we will automatically fail. If plan A fails, go on to plan B, and so on and so forth. Keep doing it until you succeed on your own terms. Getting one thing right is all we need to be said in life. This will help you and those around you. This may help you make a significant difference in the world by helping others. 
Providing answers or solving world problems can help us to hopefully reach that billionaire milestone. Baby Billionaire Tips 6 1. Be afraid, but make sure it does not keep you from trying anything you want to do in life. 2. Do not live life with no goals and do not die with many regrets. 3. Time will still pass and it will be lost forever, so why not try out our ideas anyway? 4. Make mistakes, but learn from them. Pivot, make change, repeat your success, and help others do the same. 5. Failures are a part of life. Overcoming and learning from them makes us stronger. Guiding Pointer 7. Not paying heed to naysayers. Always dream big, if not bigger. The world is filled with opportunities if we know where to look for them. All we have to do is look and we will find it. Stay positive and we will see opportunities during downturns. While others are heading for the exits, all of us have dreams, ambitions, and aspirations to fulfill. So why not dream much bigger? Either way, it does not cost us anything. We are the captains of our lives. We will need to chart its course along our journey through life. If we don't, others will, but on their terms. Let's run our lives our way. Most people go to a job that they hate, where they are told what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Most of us are living paycheck to paycheck, with just one source of income. If that stream stops, we are done. Create multiple streams of income to sustain your family, your security, and your life. Don't be dependent on just a job. There is more to life than just work, paying bills, and dying out. Nothing is too small, nothing is too big. So why not dream much bigger and go for the top? The bigger your dream, the greater will be your vision. The world is filled with naysayers who may not wish to see you succeed. You need to do your thing and let them do theirs. Life is meant to be lived and experienced. Most people are living a life they hate and of which they have no control. So we need to ask ourselves, are we living or merely existing? Who is in control of your life? You or someone else? We need to get out of our comfort zones in order to take control of our lives and make things happen. But because nobody else will come to the rescue, you are your own buddy. It's our turf and we need to play by our rules. Comfort zones are dead zones with no growth where life gets stagnant, but it's very comfortable. Dream big, if not bigger, but dream it. Find a way to increase your wealth instead of working for someone else. A 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. job promises you a paycheck. That's it. Once you lose that job, your security and comfort will disappear in a flash. Learn and understand the difference between being wealthy and being rich. That's night and day. We were never taught to stand on our own two feet, but to be dependent on others our entire lives. What we think, we become, including our thoughts and our actions. Our current situation is based on our very thoughts and actions executed a long time back. If we do not like where we are now and are planning the next 10 years of our lives, our thinking and actions will need to change now. This will determine the results we are looking for 10 years from now. There are plenty of people on this planet who will say that your idea may not come to fruition and will hope that you do not succeed in your endeavors. Learn to keep secrets within you and work in stealth mode. Once you attain success, people will tend to crawl back to you. This is life. If people say no, don't take it as a no, but take it as a challenge to propel yourself and make things happen. Somebody else's no is a no to them, but consider it a yes to you. You do not have to accept anything at face value. Naysayers can pull you down with them because they come with no good intentions. Do your thing and let them do theirs. Have them stay out of your way and keep yourself far away from their negativity. People who have made it across the finish line and landed on the billionaire turf may have faced many battles and have scars to prove them. We do not have to choose to follow the same path, but we must stay closer to that offbeat path in order to learn from them and to help us keep dreaming much bigger to become one of them. Baby Billionaire Tip 7 1. Dream big, but think bigger and make things happen on your own terms. 
Two, try and try again until you succeed. Then keep repeating the cycle till you drop. Three, plan your lonely path to success and don't forget to enjoy the journey. Four, ignore the naysayers and work in silence till success comes to your doorstep. Five, there is a world that exists outside of your cubicle. Get out of your comfort zone and see what you are capable of. Give it your best shot. Guiding pointer eight, working hard and smart and being a lifelong learner. Becoming a billionaire requires a combination of hard work, passion, persistence, perseverance, and other smart strategies. It is not enough to just work long hours and put in the effort. You need to work hard in a strategic and purposeful way. If hard work was the answer to becoming a billionaire, the vast majority of blue collar workers and the middle class would have been billionaires by now. It's much more than that. First and foremost, you will need to be willing to put in the time and effort. Being a billionaire doesn't happen overnight, and it certainly doesn't come without hard work. Successful entrepreneurs often work long hours, sacrificing leisure time and personal comforts to build their empires. They are dedicated and persistent, pushing through challenges and setbacks. At times, family matters may take a back seat. However, it's not just about working hard. It's also about working smart. This means focusing on high value activities that will generate the most significant results. Rather than getting caught up in busy work and minor tasks, billionaires prioritize activities that have the greatest impact on their businesses. They delegate tasks that can be done by others and focus their energy on strategic decision making and innovation. When we stop learning, we will sink. There is no excuse for not learning something each day. A great mentor will help guide you and save you from years of trial and error. Learn to keep your eyes and ears open, since you will always learn something from everyone you meet. Another important aspect of working smart is continuously learning and growing. Billionaires have a thirst for knowledge and are constantly seeking new information and skills. They invest in their own personal and professional development attending conferences, workshops, and seminars to expand their knowledge base. They also surround themselves with talented individuals who can contribute to their success and offer fresh perspectives. To work smart, you also need to leverage technology and automation. Robotics are here to help us increase efficiency in areas where a human can't. They can work non-stop, and they seldom complain. Embrace innovation and stay up to date with the latest trends and technologies in your industry. This will give you a competitive edge and help you stay ahead of the curve. In addition, it is essential to have a clear vision and set specific goals. Billionaires have a strong sense of direction and know exactly what they want to achieve. They break down their goals into smaller, manageable tasks and create action plans to accomplish them. By staying focused and driven, they are able to make progress towards their ultimate vision. Only your inner drive, or what we call the fire in the belly, will help propel you forward when everything else is working against you. Real passion in what you do each day will help drive you closer to achieving success. Genuinely love what you do. Furthermore, networking and building relationships are crucial for success. Billionaires understand the power of connections and actively seek out opportunities to meet and collaborate with influential individuals. They attend industry events, join professional organizations, and utilize social media platforms to expand their network. By surrounding themselves with like-minded individuals and mentors, they gain valuable insights and support that can propel their success. Lastly, it's important to maintain a positive mindset and resilience. Building a billion dollar empire comes with its fair share of challenges and setbacks. However, billionaires view these obstacles as learning experiences and opportunities for growth. By maintaining a positive attitude and persevering through adversity, they are able to overcome obstacles and achieve their financial goals. Baby Billionaire Tips 8 1. Have a thirst for knowledge and continue to learn throughout life. Once we stop learning, we will sink to the bottom. 2. Understand that we will be sacrificing something to get something. 3. Use time wisely because it is the most important asset we have. Prioritize and delegate. We only have so much time at our disposal. 4. 
Trading our time for money will not create wealth for us. Instead, it will keep us enslaved in virtual shackles and chains, enriching our masters. 5. Seek out a mentor who can guide you and is committed and willing to do so. Guiding Pointer 9. Leveraging Technology and Innovation. The Power of Delegation. In today's fast-paced and constantly evolving world, leveraging technology and innovation is a crucial strategy for aspiring billionaires. Technology has the power to transform industries, disrupt traditional outdated business models, and create new opportunities for growth. By embracing technological advancements and staying at the forefront of innovation, you can position yourself for success and propel your journey from zero to being a billionaire much faster. One way to leverage technology is by embracing automation and streamlining your process. With the help of software and tools, you can automate repetitive tasks, increase efficiency, and free up your time for more important work. By automating routine tasks, you can focus on high-value activities that have a direct impact on your business and drive growth. Having systems and processes in place that can speed things up even faster. Technology helps bring people together from all parts of the world through global connectivity, collaboration, brainstorming, and exchanging ideas to make all sorts of things happen. All this and much more can be done more efficiently and in a very short time period. Additionally, technology can help you reach a larger audience and expand your business globally. Through social media, digital marketing, and e-commerce platforms, you can connect with customers from around the world and sell your products or services on a global scale. The internet has made it easier than ever to build a brand, create an online presence, and attract customers from all walks of life right from your laptop. Furthermore, innovation can help you stay ahead of the competition and identify new opportunities. By continuously seeking out innovative solutions and embracing emerging technologies, you can differentiate yourself from others in your industry and offer a unique value proposition to your customers. Whether it's adopting artificial intelligence, blockchain, or virtual reality, staying abreast of the latest trends and advancements will give you a competitive edge. One person cannot do it all. Delegating tasks to the person with the right skills can soften the blow of the one person doing it all approach. This gets the job done more efficiently and frees up time to do more important tasks. It's important to remember that leveraging technology and innovation is not just about adopting the latest gadgets or software. It's about using these tools strategically to solve problems, improve processes, and create value. Be open-minded, curious, and willing to experiment with new technologies. Embrace change, take risks, and continuously learn and adapt. By leveraging technology and innovation, you can accelerate your path to hopefully becoming a billionaire and create a lasting impact in the world. Delegation helps you buy time by prioritizing your tasks. Channeling your energy into tasks that are highly productive will give you a chance to maximize time and increase your income. Outsourcing tasks such as cooking, lawn mowing, shopping, or driving may help you free up time for leisure and to do other planned activities. This is money well spent. Many entrepreneurs try to do all tasks themselves in order to nickel and dime in order to save a penny here and a penny there. Without understanding the basic principles of time management and efficiency, this will lead to burnout or health issues. Delegation also helps create employment and it may help support many. That's a noble deed. Baby Billionaire Tips 9 1. Open up to new ideas and be willing to change. 2. We need to keep up with the times in order to scale or go obsolete. Three. Technology can help us transform ourselves from the outdated hand assembly model. Robotics can be programmed to do the same job around the clock much faster than any human could. Value time and you will be valued. 4. We will be able to solve problems that exist in this world much faster and more efficiently through automation. 5. Faster means of communication. Innovative medical technology and high-speed transportation can help save lives. Robotics and artificial intelligence may be the answer. Guiding Pointer 10. Diversifying your investments, having multiple streams of income. 
Diversifying your investments is a crucial step on the path from zero to being a billionaire. While it's important to work hard and make smart financial decisions, putting all your eggs in one basket can be a risky strategy. By diversifying your investments, you spread out your risk and increase your chances of achieving long-term financial success. Your investments may be anything from farmland to gold to property. Buy and hold on to anything that has intrinsic value for the long haul and never sell it. History has repeatedly shown us that everything appreciates in value over time. Maybe the one who holds it for the longest may reap its rewards. Maybe not the parents, but the heirs. The suggested holding time might be infinity. So what does it mean to diversify your investments? It means not putting all your money into one type of asset or in one industry. Instead, you spread your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, real estates, and commodities to mitigate risk. Within each asset class, you can further diversify by investing in different companies or properties. Diversification helps protect your investments from the volatility and uncertainty of any single market. If one investment performs poorly, your other investments may still perform well and offset any losses. It's like having a safety net for your financial future. Diversification also allows you to take advantage of different investment opportunities. By investing in different industries or countries, you can tap into global markets and potentially earn higher returns. This can help you build wealth faster and increase your chances of becoming a billionaire. However, diversification doesn't mean blindly spreading your money around. It's important to do your research and choose investments that align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Consider seeking expert advice to help you develop a diversified investment portfolio that suits your needs. You can only save so much, but the sky's the limit to bringing in income from various sources. So work on increasing your income first before you start planning to save. Focusing just on saving will always keep you poor. In summary, diversifying your investments is a key strategy on the path to becoming a billionaire. It helps protect your investments, seize opportunities, and increase your chances of achieving long-term financial success. So, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments wisely to watch your wealth grow in your hand, and not in someone else's. It's your money. No one has a skin in the game to control it like you do. So, take the helm and chart its course to where you want to go. Many so-called experts may use your money to make their mistakes and learn from them at your expense. Learn all you can at the push of a few buttons and you are in. Do not be dependent on one income source, namely your job. Channel your energy to create multiple streams of revenue. Having seven income streams is always better than having just one small stream. For the vast majority of people, their job is their only source of income. If that stream dries out, they are in big financial trouble. Learn not to be dependent on a job or an employer until it's too late. In addition to it, take control of your life and start moving ahead by increasing the number of income streams. If one dries up, you still have others to watch out for you. It also helps you spend more time with your family, take them out on vacations, or do whatever you wish to do, and be stress-free knowing that you have other streams flowing into your picture. That's a great relief. Buying and holding appreciating assets for the long haul can help you be listed in the billionaire club. Everything does take time, patience, and planning. Also, learn how money works, and most important of all, learn how to manage it yourself. Because it's yours, and there is no one better than you who has your best interests in mind and has skin in the game. Seek help from reliable so-called experts, but be wary and cautious. Keep learning, and we may hopefully see you at the club. Baby Billionaire Tips 10 1. Have multiple sources of revenue that are reliable. 2. No one has real interest in your money as much as you do, but others might be wishing for a handout or working hard to get it out of your hands by any means. 3. Spread the wealth between all your baskets based on where you want your future comfort level to be. 4. First of all, be financially literate. Financial illiteracy is the highest in schools and colleges. No wonder people have no idea how to handle money and what to do with it. Easy access to credit has magnified the problem even more. 
5. The less we know about finance, the more we will be taken advantage of. Guiding Pointer 11. Never give up. Overcoming adversity and failure. Becoming a billionaire is no easy feat. Along the journey from zero to immense wealth, you are bound to encounter adversity and failure. But what sets billionaires apart from the rest is their ability to never give up and to keep pushing forward despite the challenges they face. Adversity can come in many forms. It could be financial setbacks, failed business ventures, or personal obstacles. But what separates the billionaires from the rest is their unwavering determination to overcome these challenges without losing focus on their goals. They see adversity as an opportunity for growth and learning rather than a roadblock. Giving up is the easiest thing to do, and everyone does it when they see no immediate results. Moreover, you may be close to hitting it big and not know it. Keep going until you hit it. Do not stop and do not give up. Failure is also a common occurrence on the path to success. Many billionaires have faced numerous failures before achieving their breakthroughs. However, instead of letting failure deter them, they use it as fuel to propel themselves forward. They learn from their mistakes, adjust their strategies, and try again and again until they succeed. They understand that failure is not the end, but a stepping stone on the road to success. One of the key traits that billionaires possess is resilience. They have the ability to bounce back from setbacks and keep moving forward. They don't let failure define them or discourage them from pursuing their dreams. Instead, they use it as motivation to work harder and smarter. Failure was not an option for many of us. We needed to keep swimming until we achieved what we wanted to achieve, because many lives depended on it. If our forefathers had failed and had given up, we would not have had penicillin, the polio vaccine, the cars, airplanes, ships, or even the courage to explore new continents across vast oceans. Another important factor into overcoming adversity and failure is having a strong support system. Many billionaires surround themselves with mentors, advisors, and like-minded individuals who can provide guidance and support during difficult times. They understand the value of having a network of people who believe in them and can offer insights and advice. Ultimately, the journey from zero to being a billionaire is not a smooth one. It is filled with challenges, setbacks, and moments of doubt. But those who persevere, who never give up, are the ones who ultimately achieve their goals. So, embrace adversity, learn from failure, and keep pushing forward. Your persistence and resilience will set you on a path to success. Who knows, we may soon see you on the side of the 1%. Hey, you never know these days. Baby Billionaire Tips 11 1. Giving up is easy. That is what most people do. Do not join that group. True deep-seated passion, persistence, and perseverance prevent it from happening. It is that deep-seated fire from within that provides the fuel to propel yourself forward. 2. Surround yourself with a team who is your support group. This group is formed through trust that was developed over a few decades. 3. Don't ever think of giving up over short-term setbacks or pitfalls. Think long-term and you'll be just fine. 4. Always keep moving forward and occasionally look back to see how far you have come. It will help you reflect back to see who you are as a person and to see the many obstacles you have overcome to get to this point in your life. 5. Success is much sweeter than failure, but without failure, success will never materialize nor will it taste sweet. Guiding Pointer 12. Learning from our mistakes and from the mistakes of others. All of us make mistakes in this life. If something were easy, everyone would be doing it. If everyone was right all the time, there would be no need to study or have schools, colleges, or even teachers. We have all come into this world with innocence on our faces and in our minds. With each stage of life, we keep learning about everything around us by trial and error. As we continue to mature, we are learning new things and still continue to make mistakes and learn from them. That is what makes us human. We are also learning from our experiences and from others' mistakes as well. Life experience and mistakes are great teachers. It keeps us humble and helps us to reflect on our past. Imagine a world where everything we do is right. But what is the actual definition of right? 
With no room for error and everything being right, there will be no incentive for any of us to do anything in order to learn to correct ourselves. Lifelong learning may stop, and we would be continuing to do the same thing over and over, which would be really boring. It is impossible to make all the mistakes in the world and learn from each of them on our own. The next step is to learn from others' missteps. For this to happen, we should keep an open mind and be willing to learn from our experiences and from others. Mistakes are meant to be just that, mistakes. We call it a misstep. Our intellect has to accept it first before we can tell our mind to make that correction. Acceptance is followed through by action. Reading or learning does not end after school days. The real learning starts after the school days are long gone. It's a jungle out there in the real world. Schools and workplaces are areas where mistakes are not tolerated. But in real life, we all tend to make them and learn from them, either on our own or from others. In reality, mistakes are really necessary and wonderful elements of life that we must learn to embrace and learn from. Once we have overcome one, we come out even stronger to handle the next one. By then, we will be fully prepared to tackle anything that comes our way. Life is about trial and error. We fall and we get up. We need to keep moving and learn each day. Then, one fine day, we will be able to write a book on our own life experiences for others to learn from, hopefully. In reality, we must also learn from each other. Mistakes also keep us on our toes and alert us the next time around. It triggers all the red flags surrounding the alarm the next time we make them. It also takes us back to the old times, when we had made the same mistake. Millionaires and billionaires have made their own mistakes and have battle scars to prove it. When the world sees billionaires, all they see is the facade of success. Tucked deep within them and behind the scenes are the sacrifices, challenges, and promises made that lay hidden in the darkness. In life, what we see is not what we see. There is more to the story than the cover page. Unless and until we dig deeper, we will never know. Baby Billionaire Tips 12 1. Mistakes are inevitable. It's okay to make them, but we need to learn from them. 2. By learning from others' mistakes, we may be able to prevent making the same ones ourselves. 3. We were taught not to make mistakes from a young age, and we have been conditioned so. Today, it is encouraged by many to throw in the towel and learn the ropes by making our own mistakes in order to learn from them on the fly. 4. Our own experiences and our own mistakes are great teachers. We must learn from them. 5. Mistakes are good and bad. It depends on what we learn from it to help apply it in the future. Guiding Pointer 13 – Helping Ourselves Grow Through Networking and the Power of Being in a Network Our network can make or break us. With whom we hang out with or network may to some extent determine our success or failure. When associating ourselves with successful people, success tends to rub off on us. Whether we are an introvert or an extrovert, we have access to any number of networking these days. Networking helps connect a face to a name, and at times it sticks. Face to name meetings are the best, but times have changed and so have different means of having meetings. It's much easier to procure a job or become a business partner with someone based on connections, or by having us referred to that person by someone since they have a long-term relationship with them that has been established based on trust. A closed network is a place where everyone knows everyone and somebody knows someone. This is how acquaintances become mentors, and this is where growth happens exponentially in a short period of time. Trial and error have already been made by many in those groups. All we may have to do is replicate what they had done and succeed. This is the power of networking and mentorship. True relationships are formed based on trust. It takes many decades to build trust, but it takes only a fraction of a second to break it. Once trust is broken, it cannot be repaired or replaced. Never burn bridges behind you since you may need to use the same bridge to cross back. Nip any problems or misunderstandings in the bud before it gets a chance to blossom into a full-blown problem. Any relationship is a two-way street, such as one hand washing the other. Each of them needs to watch each other's backs and help out in times of need. Relationships and trust are very sacred. Let's keep it that way. 
The members of the network may have years of experience and have made all sorts of mistakes, which they may be willing to share with us to help us grow. Networking is also built on a handshake and trust factor. These days, it is becoming obsolete, but back in the glory days, it was a habitual norm to get the job done with just a handshake. Your network also says who you are and tells people whom you do business with about your credibility. Once you give your word, it used to be worth the weight in gold. Today, it does not mean a thing. We need a paper trail and receipts for everything these days because trust has become less common. Clubs may be the breeding ground for like-minded individuals to gather, learn, and share. Two minds are always better than one. This is where we learn to pool brain power and move mountains with minimal effort in less time. This summarizes it all. As our network grows, we grow. Each of us will need to contribute our knowledge and insights to the group by sharing our skills and lifting people up. What is a good network when we cannot put it into action or get the job done more efficiently and in a timely manner? Connections and values still exist these days. It does carry some weight. Having all the ideas and having a great team is no good if we cannot conduct business through the execution of our ideas by trading products and services. We learn a lot from networking which may include transparency, teamwork, collective action, trust, relationship, communication, introductions, business acumen, and public speaking, just to name a few. We need to provide value to our customers first for them to uphold their end of the deal. Word of mouth is still the best and cheapest form of networking around. Entrepreneurs and businessmen alike know this firsthand. To be a billionaire in this fast-paced world, we will need to keep our word, keep our promises, and fulfill the expectations of each customer in a timely fashion. Once that has been fulfilled, they will remain a customer for life, and a loyal one. Baby Billionaire Tips 13 1. Relationships and trust go hand in hand. Trust takes many decades to build, but it takes only a fraction of a second to break it. Once broken, it cannot be repaired or replaced. 2. We need to keep our promise and fulfill the expectations of our customers. 3. Networking is crucial in building business relationships. 4. Take care of your customers and they will take care of you. 5. Never burn bridges behind you. Since you may need to use the same bridge to cross back, value relationships and build genuine ones. Nip all problems early on in the bud stage. Never let misunderstandings linger. Guiding pointer 14. Valuing and managing time. Balancing work and family life. Time is finite and each of us has 24 hours to work with, irrespective of our age, nationality, or race. This is the most valuable asset we have. It starts ticking from the time we are born till the time we take our last breath. After we die, we are labeled a body and we immediately lose our identity. Time is useful to us only when we are alive and kicking. It will be of no use to us after we pass. With 24 hours at our disposal, how do we break it up and fit everything within that time frame? During that time frame, we need to make a living, spend time eating, drinking, sleeping, commuting to and from work, socializing, and wasting ample time on social media platforms, just to name a few. As you can see from the example shown below, it is nearly impossible to fit everything that we desire into our daily schedule. Time is the most valuable of all assets. We tend to value money more than time. This is because we were never taught to value time. Once time is lost, it's not coming back. By valuing it, we can make the best of what we've got. If not, we will need to let it go voluntarily. So it begs the question, are we valuing our time at all? Say we break down the 24 hours that are made available to us for us to avail. Sleep, seven hours. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, three hours. Commuting to and from work, two hours. Work time, eight hours. Leisure time, four hours. Family time, social life. Do we have family time at all? Is it non-existent? This amounts to 24 hours. As we can see, we spend most of our life either at work, eating, commuting, or sleeping. 
the available four hours of leisure are consumed by social media, phone calls, texting, emails, and watching TV. This is only a conservative calculation, just to give you an idea of what we are doing with our lives. Imagine continuing to do the same for a lifetime. Imagine the time and hours wasted on various devices for our entertainment. Take a pen and paper and start charting your daily usage of hours. It will shock you. How do we ever catch up with all those advertisements, sales, and promotions? Not to forget clipping coupons or going to the movies. We do not have enough time to follow through on those. Time once wasted is gone forever, and we will not be getting it back. Imagine the hourglass that represents the 24 hours. As each grain passes through the narrow isthmus, the day is coming to a close, and we need to ask ourselves, have we made the most out of the day, or have we wasted it in any way? If not, we will need to start prioritizing what we will need to do and how to decide to live our lives in the most efficient manner, so as to touch upon things and focus on things that matter to us most, like family. Family time has become a thing of the past and has gone obsolete with the advent of modern devices and social media platforms. Information overload has taken over our lives. The art of face-to-face -face conversation, handwriting, eye contact, a hug, a kiss, a human touch, and trust all seem to have lost their genuine value. To sum up, we need to ask ourselves, are we living life or merely existing? We tend to focus much more on work and less on family matters. Something has to give and will give, and it's not work. Trading time for money may have worked in past decades, but the vast majority of us are still continuing to do the same and supposedly working towards a golden age of retirement. This may never come and many never see it. The only time that is definitive is the present. The past is gone forever and the future is unknown. If we are looking forward to living our future life speculatively and hoping that things will work out, it will not. There are many moving parts to this picture that are beyond our control. The only control we have is our life and nothing else, so we may need to make changes to our life for it to be balanced. People who are successful and wealthy tend to have respect for time and value them. They tend to delegate work that is not productive, allowing them to make free time for themselves in order to focus on activities that appreciate in value as time passes by. They also do not have to trade their time for money. This is an advantage point they have where they are in a position to buy time, and in their mind they are fully aware of its significance in their work-life balance. Being punctual and on time is an attribute that has become scarce these days and is uncommon. Value your time and others' time as well. It is rude to keep someone waiting. Arrive early and always be prepared. Protecting and using this valuable asset in a responsible way may help pave the way to becoming a billionaire. Because time is money. If we respect it, it will respect us. Baby Billionaire Tips 14 1. Respect your time and respect the time of others. Be punctual. 2. Allocate and spend time on what is important to you and your family. 3. Decide how to break up and utilize the 24 hours you have in an efficient manner. It's too precious to waste. 4. Value the present because that's what we all have got. 5. Trading our time for money is the sure way to enslave ourselves because it will steal our valuable time in broad daylight, and we can do nothing about it. It also takes us far away from our goal to be wealthy. Guiding Pointer 15. Giving back to society and sharing goodness for the benefit of all. Once anyone has reached that coveted milestone of being a billionaire, it is time for them to look deep within themselves and help the less fortunate. Too much of anything is poison. It might be food, clothing, or mansions. We can only eat so much. We need only a six by four feet space to sleep on, and we only need so much clothing to cover our bodies. Anything over that is excess consumption. How many pairs of shoes or sandals do we need? You get the point. Homelessness, poverty, and hunger do exist even today, and no one seems to have done anything to solve that problem other than throwing money in the wrong places 
And the people benefiting from it are not the homeless, the hungry, or the poor. It has been in existence for centuries, and will continue to exist unless we start caring and being human. Sharing and caring for one another is human nature. Something has gone wrong somewhere along the line. We have been caring for just our own self, our well-being, and our self-preservation for way too long. Time to share and help out. Even if it's just a loaf of bread, materialism and consumerism have consumed our lives. People have started loving stuff and using people instead of the other way around. Food banks and nonprofits can only do so much on a temporary basis. Helping someone or lifting them out of poverty will only do society good. Instead, these age-old problems seem to be hitting the century mark with no solution in sight. Individuals must be trained and given jobs to help them make a living. They need to stand on their own feet by supporting themselves and their families. It's like the old adage, feed a man a fish and he gets to eat a meal, but by teaching a man to fish, we feed him for life. Money doesn't make things happen. Billionaires with their excesses can, and if they wish to, help open up businesses or factories to help provide employment. This helps keep people off the streets and onto a stable life in which they can sustain themselves. In turn, they can help uplift others, and so on and so forth. Wealth is meant to be distributed and not to be in the hands of a select few. That is the excess baggage which benefits no one. Money does buy happiness when one has financial security, a plan B, and when one does not have to worry about paying their bills. Who said money doesn't buy happiness? Look around us and see. That's what a lack of money does to society. If all 8 billion people planted just two trees and did their part to help one another by giving rather than taking, each of us could make a difference even on a small scale. That feeling is priceless and invaluable. It may also put a smile on someone's face far away. Money can move mountains if served right. It can also corrupt a person or society. Being a billionaire is good, but only if the world's problems and societal issues get corrected and everyone gets a fair chance to live life to the fullest. Considering their basic essentials are covered, until that happens, we will have the rich who are getting richer by the second and the poor getting even poorer. In the end, none of us will want to end up as the richest man in the graveyard by not having lived life at all and being surrounded by luxuries. We need to ask ourselves, how much money do we need? Are we going to take it with us once we passed? Or will our heirs blow it up by the third generation or even the first? Getting to billionaire status has its perks that can open doors. If done right and used properly, it can make a difference in this world. If not, our life spent on this planet will have no purpose at all. Help yourself by getting established financially, then help everyone else. By doing so, you will feel much better deep inside knowing that you have done your part in serving humanity. That's priceless, and nothing can beat that, not even money. Baby Billionaire Tips 15 1. Achieving the billionaire milestone may pave the path for others to follow you and help open more doors that are usually off-limits to others. 2. A poor person may not be able to help others in need, but a wealthy person can if they choose to. But will they? 3. In the world of the blind, the one-eyed man is the king. The same analogy may apply here, where the individual with the most gets to call the shots. 4. Help yourself first before helping anyone else. If you don't, you can help no one. 5. Too much of anything is poison. Too much of anything is also excess baggage. It will do you no good. Helping others may help put a smile on your face, and on others' faces as well, by helping them and their families. Subscribe with us and learn. If you find the information in this video valuable, please subscribe to watch more videos like this and also share it with family and friends. Write I subscribed in the comment section below and let us know of topics that interest you in the subject of finance. Please hit the like button and the notification bell to be notified. There's more waiting to be learned in our next video. Our aim is to provide you with high quality educational content and information to help you learn and hopefully be a billionaire one day.
The contents of this video are for educational and informational purposes only. Lifelong learning and exploration. We learn through our own experiences in life and by learning from others. Out of the box thinking helps us look within ourselves and bring out untapped potential that we never knew existed. By creating our own path in life, we can avoid following the crowd and the drama to free up our time to hopefully join the ranks of the billionaires. Nothing is set in stone and there are no guarantees, but we will need to give our best shot at it.